I'm Amy Anderson and you're watching Option Rally TV. Take your position with Option Rally Brokers. Click the link to my right and get more information on binary options with Option Rally. Now here's what's happening today, August 20th, 2013 in the market. Is Google above the law? Gold drops in preparation for Fed news. And lastly, an oil downcast after a six day winning streak. Your profits are starting now. Google is facing a landmark group legal action by angry Brits about the way they circumvented settings on the iPhone to track their web usage. The company has already been fined a record $22.5 million by authorities in the United States over the practice. In a submission to the High Court, however, Google Incorporated has argued that as an American company, it is not covered by British privacy laws. It said there was no jurisdiction for the case to be heard in Great Britain because its, its consumer services are provided by Google Inc. based in Silicon Valley rather than Google Inc. UK. While the British courts have yet to respond to Google's arguments, investors are wary of how this will affect Google's stock prices. A second fine, even if it's not on the same scale as the one imposed by US courts, could send the prices plummeting. Google closed Monday at 859.66 and reopened at 865.65. For Google trading today, it is recommended to consider a call option when the price hits 873.20 and to consider a put option when the price hits 861.75. Gold prices dipped on Monday after investors prepared for an eventual end to Federal Reserve stimulus measures later this year. Stimulus tools such as the Fed's $85 billion in monthly bond purchases tend to weaken the dollar by driving down interest rates, making gold an attractive hedge while in place. Gold and the dollar tend to trade inversely from one another. Uncertainty over the Fed will begin scaling back stimulus which sent prices rising in recent sessions, as market talk has persisted that the $85 billion in monthly asset purchases may stay in place through December before tapering begins. Gold closed Monday at 1376.40 and then slumped to 1358.10 continuing this morning. For yellow metal trading today, it is recommended to consider a call option when the price hits 1378.10 and to consider a put option when the price hits 1348.20. Oil futures traded slightly lower in the early part of Tuesday's Asian after crude snapped a six-day winning streak during Monday's U.S. session. Forecasts for no tropical development in the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico allowed prices to subside on Monday. Tensions in the Middle East continue to loom large in the oil markets as well. European crude futures saw earlier support amid ongoing concerns that Egyptian unrest may swell and disrupt crude shipments. While the upcoming news from the Fed is the major story in the market today, it is not the only reason for the drop in oil prices. The weather and the events in Egypt seem to be keeping investors occupied. Oil closed Monday at 107.67, then fell to 105.89 continuing this morning. For black gold trading today, it is recommended considering a call option when the price hits 106.65 and to consider a put option when the price hits 104.90. Today in the market, Canada is releasing the wholesale sales statistics. Wholesale sales measures the change in the total value of sales at the wholesale level. It is a leading indicator of consumer spending. A higher than expected reading should be taken as positive for the CAD, while a lower than expected reading should be taken as negative. The expected reading is negative 1%. Tune in today at 1.30 GMT and get ready to trade the loony. I'm Amy Anderson. Tune in Monday to Friday right here on my channel and at OptionRally.com. See you tomorrow.